Okay, welcome to my next video. I'm trying something new here. I'm going to work through a solution to the challenge on Cold Wars. These challenges are called kata, which comes from some Japanese tradition, which I'm sorry to say I don't remember the details of. But this particular challenge is called Unique in Order, and the instructions are implement the function Unique in Order, which takes an, as an argument a sequence and returns a list of items without any elements with the same value next to each other and preserving the original order of elements. So for example, unique in order of A-A-A-A-B-B-B-C-C-D-A-A-B-B-B I may not have said that exactly correctly, equals A-B-C-D-A-B. -B -B. And I've solved this already and so I'm just gonna, but I'm gonna walk through what my thought process is as I code it. And the first thing I want to do is make a list to store my output answer. I'm going to call that unique list and initialize it as an empty list. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and return unique list because I know that's where I'm going to end up. Uh, I'll come back to that line. Now for each, I'll, I'll say, I'll call them characters. For each character in iterable, what I want to do is check that this current character is not equal to the previous character. So if character not equal to previous, and I'll define previous in a moment, if it's not equal to previous, then we'll uh, add to unique list using dot append unique list dot append character. Now we need to, oops, we need to define previous. So for most of the cases it's going to be at within the iteration of the loop that we say previous equal character so then we, when we come back around to the next iteration previous will be there for us. The problem is as it's currently written we haven't, we don't have a value for previous on the first iteration of the loop so we would have an error the solution to that is to go up here and say previous equal none. So that on this first case, excuse me, on this first case none will in fact not be equal to whatever that first character is, assuming there, that the input isn't none, that's worth thinking about perhaps. But now I believe I've gotten everything, and this is the point where Typically, rather than think myself all the way through what everything I've written and see to make sure in my head that it's right, I go ahead and run the sample test and hope that I haven't made any mistakes. So here we go. We'll find out. Run sample test. Passed. So there we go. Um, if it looks like I know what I'm doing, that's because I have solved this one before. So I'm working from a memory of how it works. I'm not just solving this on the fly. I may in the future do some streaming where I do solve kata on the fly new ones. But this is what we have here, and that's the video for today, so thank you. Ah, one more thing, haven't done the official attempt. Okay. That's officially passed. Okay. End of video.